keep those gremlins away. Stay safe out there. Is a gremlin bell. Said most Harleys have a bell hanging from underneath the bike. Your ride bell, your guardian bell, whatever you want to call it. When you purchase a gremlin bell, they call it, it will protect your motorcycle against Andy, there are forces loose on this earth that you wouldn't believe. I tell you, it'd make your hair stand on end. You will not laugh. You will not, laugh. You will not cry. You will learn by the numbers. I will teach you. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. I, I understand right from the get-go that this, this video has the potential of me being flooded with negative comments, maybe people unsubscribing or whatever. That's fine. But before you react, my only, my only uh, question, my only desire, what I would ask of you is you watch the whole video. It's, it's short. Also, I want you to know that the YouTube videos that I use in the introduction are all some of my favorite YouTubers. And uh, I have no evil, evil will or evil thought about any of them. And as a matter of fact, Doc Harley in th that video was reading from something he had pulled from the Internet uh, in an attempt to explain Gremlin Bells because someone had asked him and he didn't really know. And I just got kind of got the feeling that uh, Doc Harley was not a fan of Gremlin Bells. As a matter of fact, he said kind of tongue-in-cheek that we at Low Car Country Harley Davidson believe that the best way to stay safe is to have your bike, your motorcycle, regularly maintenanced. So that's uh, that's that's that. It's not that I have a problem with the bell hanging from the bottom of my bike. Black Beauty is a 2020 Harley Davidson Ultra Limited FLHTK. I love the bike. And uh, I don't really have a problem with the bell hanging under it, maybe. Uh, I've owned two other Harley Davidsons. Both had bells on them. The, and both of those bikes, the 2011 Street Glide and a 2008 Ultra Classic, were both, I bought them pre-owned. And when I got the bike, the bell came with it because the previous owner had not removed their bell. And those bells were there, and I made no attempt no attempt whatsoever uh, to move them. And I may very well, I may very well add a bell to Black Beauty in the future. I have a beautiful bell that has Christian symbols on it given to me by a couple who are who ride with us and who are also members of our church and they attend church with us and they're friends. And that bell now has a prominent spot in one of my poker chip cabinets in my office. I love it. And um, who knows? I may very well hang it on Black Beauty at some point in time. Chances are you have a bell hanging from your Harley. Cool. No, no judgment. No judgment here. The problem for me, this is me personally. I'm not even trying to put this on you. The problem for me personally is why? If I have a bell hanging on my motorcycle, why? See, there's a lot of legend behind the gremlin bells and, you know, the, they have different names, a gremlin bell, angel bell, spirit bell, biker bell, maybe more. If you know a name that I didn't say, put it in the comments. Uh, let me know. Educate me. But the question is why? And so here it is. Most of the legends behind the bell swirl around superstition. I'm going to read to you the Britannica Dictionary definition of the word superstition. It defines superstition as a belief or way of behaving that is based on fear. I could stop right there. Based on fear. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So it says a belief or way of behaving that is based on fear of the unknown and faith in magic or luck. Not faith in God, faith in magic or luck. A belief that certain events will bring good or bad luck. And we and people do things. And and sometimes, honestly, I say knock on wood and I don't even mean it. I, I, I just, and then I'll, I've got where I catch myself. And, but you know, you could be having a, say you're on a motorcycle ride and you've, you've ridden two or 300 miles and then you say, man, we've had a great trip. We haven't had any problems. 
there haven't been any mechanical problems. You know, what well, man, what a, the weather is beautiful. And then all of a sudden you say, knock on wood, because the belief is is that you might can curse your good luck with with praising your good luck, that you can somehow mess it up. And there's a legend that says that uh, good spirits reside within the trees and that when you knock on something wood, it requests their protection. Did you know that one? And uh, so don't break a mirror. If you break a mirror, you're going to have seven years of bad luck. Yeah. Uh, we keep, people carry charms, charms that ward off bad luck, like a rabbit's foot or putting a horseshoe over the door or four-leaf clover or something like that. I'm not superstitious. I refuse to be superstitious. My confidence isn't in a bell. My confidence is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yep, I absolutely believe in angels. I do. Even guardian angels. But I don't believe for a moment that we invoke the protection of angels with man-made objects. Not at all. Not with bells, not with candles, not with statues, nothing like that. It, it, it's, it's almost a form of idolatry, I, I, you know, to, to put that much confidence in something man-made. So I believe in angels, and I believe in guardian angels, but I believe that we can request the help and the protection of angels, but we do that through prayer and through a, through a life of faith. So my hope isn't knocking on wood. My hope isn't in a rabbit's foot. My hope isn't in a gremlin bell. There's an old song in the Christian church that has a line in it that says, On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. On Christ the solid rock I stand, rabbit's foots are sinking sand. On Christ the solid rock I stand, Gremlin bells are sinking sand. And so my, mo my thing is, if I, if I hang my, my bell under my bike, why am I putting it there? Am I putting it there just because of the novelty of it and because friends gave it to me or, 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 or whatever? I may hang the bell on my bike just for the fun, just for honoring, the fr honoring my friends, just uh, for the novelty of it. I have close friends, very close friends, who are people of faith. They're Jesus followers, the radical Jesus followers who have bells hanging on their bikes. They too, they're followers of Christ, and they, they don't believe in gremlins. They don't believe they're chasing off gremlins with that little bell. They don't believe that. So it's just for me personally. I want my motive to be right. I want my heart to be in the right place. I'm not here. If you've got bail, a bell hanging on your back and, and, and it's for the right reason, your heart's in the right place, you know, good for you. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not here to ridicule you because you have a bell. I'm here to just get you to think about it as to why. That's it. Have a great day. And therefore, I cannot discuss the subject intelligently.